I will be showing you five Blender add-ons you need to have in 2025. So let's get straight into it. So the first Blender add-on I'm going to show you is the most popular in the Blender industry. So I'm in Blender 4.3, the latest version right now, and I'm going to show you the Blender Kit add-on. So I am over here in my Blender file. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to actually get that Blender Kit add-on. So I have the link in the description so you can download the zip file. Once you download your zip file, you have to go over here into Edit, Preferences, Edit Preferences, and then over here into get extensions, you have to go over here in this little drop down, press this and install from your disk and you have to install that from your zip file. So now once you have done that, you'll go to add-ons and then enable your Blender Kit Online Asset Library add-on. And once you have done that, you will then get a little drop down. You will get a little drop down over here. This is the Blender Kit add-on. If you can't see this, you have to go over here, just press N. And you see the blender kit it does have to enable it from here activate it you maybe have to create a blender kit login i already did that and then you can be good to go so you will see this and the best part about this you can get free assets that are created by people so for example if i wanted to get let's say a let's say a chair model or a car model whatever let's say a chair model click chair and you'll see you'll see chair models and as you can see they are free i have got a filter on right now which is free first that's why all of them are that are coming first are free so if i disable that when it loads up you'll see that some of them have locks on them those are not free you have to buy them get a subscription but the ones that are free you can just get that filter free first and then it's so easy you have to drag it and drop it into your scene to so drag and drop into your scene and as you can see the chairs in your scene and the best part is it already has its textures enabled you can drag as many as you want and it depends on your computer how well it can comprehend it so that is your blender kit add-on and let's move on to our next add-on this second one is also one of my favorites so as you can see i've got a little plane over here and we're going to be using the sapling tree generator now this add-on allows you to literally create trees without modeling without it's just built into blender and that's what's so amazing about it so first of all we're going to go back into our preferences and in add-ons you have to search sapling tree gen and just enable that okay enable that and then get out of there so how do you get a sapling tree generator how do you get it so when you do shift A and in your curve, you will see that in the curve, you see the sapling tree generator, okay? It's going to be over there. Just click that and you'll see a tree appear. And now this is the default preset that this is the tree. Now, if you want to modify a tree, you have to go down here. Sapling, add tree. Click that and now you can do lots of things. There's lots of options. And I've got a full tutorial on this, how to do this. I'll leave the link in the description as well. So, for example, if you go into leaves, you can show your leaves. And you can see you can show your leaves. And also, over here, you can get the different types of trees. For example, the small maple tree, the weeping willow. These are lots of trees. And you can also show their leaves. You can also add some armature to these. Use the armature to add some wind effects whatever make it a mesh if you want to because right now it's going to be a curve obviously because it was in the curve side and then the best part is you can create forests awesome landscapes awesome environments by using this so i ha i really like this one let's move on to our third add-on this third add-on not a lot of people talk about so this is the extra mesh object add-on so as you can see if you now do shift a and if you want to add a mesh you see that you all you only get these few options. Now there's an add-on that allows you to get even more options, and that they are very 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 useful. So we're gonna do exactly that. So you have to go again into Edit Preferences. Now, as you can see, there is actually a a shortcut to so Control and then this comma to go into your um, preferences. But you can use that if you want. And then you can go over here into your extensions. Now, if you're in the latest version, Blender 4.3, to get this, you first have to enable install an extension. So you have to search extra mesh, mesh, sorry, objects. And then you go over here, 
and an install it. I've already got installed. You can install it over there. And then once you have done that, you have to go into add-ons and then search your add-on extra mesh objects and then enable that. Save it and then you're done. Then now when you do shift A, add a extra object, you can see that you get lots more objects. You can get a rock, you get a rock generator, a single vertex, a round cube, torus objects, math functions, and much, much more. Now, for example, I really, really like the rock generator. So over here, the rock generator. And when you do that, if I move this up, you see that you get some presets like we did with our sapling tree generator. Number of rocks, you can increase that, the scale on the X, the scale on the Y, scale on the Z, the deformation, the detail level, and etc. That is very, very, very useful. And now I see lots of people, what they do is that they get a plane, they want to get a single vertex. They go to edit mode, A, press, set all, all your vertices by A, then merge at center, and they get that single vertex that they want. Look at that single vertex. But now Blender has done, if you do shift A, you don't have to do that all of that stuff you can just do shift a go here and add that single vert you'd have to um merge your object you get that single vertex and that is super super helpful to save time and that is the third add-on let's go to our fourth add-on next up we have the node wrangler add-on now this add-on is used with material procedural nodes now when you're doing this it gives you some shortcut keys that you can use to help you add nodes do lots of things with shortcuts and it enables you to do it with faster time. So I'm gonna go over here into edit preferences and enable the node wrangler add-on. Node wrangler I, I've already got enabled. So I'm gonna show you what it can do. So for example, we want to add a texture to our cube. So we're gonna go over here into our shading. We're gonna add our texture. We're gonna add a material to it. So as you can see, what people would do is that they're going to get the individual map, for example, the normal map, the base color, the displacement map individually and plug it in and do the, all the hard work. But the Node Wrangler add-on makes it far hundred times easier. What you just have to do, collect your principal BSDF, press Control, Shift T, locate your texture, select your textures and this do principled texture setup, select that. And then wait, look at that. Blender does the magic and look, it did the base color, it plugged in the base color, the roughness map, the displacement map, and the normal map with only this one shortcut key. And that is the useful node wrangler add-on. There's lots of other shortcuts that you can do, but I have an own video for that. The link's gonna be in the description onto our next add-on. Now the next one is the closest friend to the people that rig characters and then they animate them. And this is the Rigify add-on. So, for example, if you want to rig a character, for example, let's imagine I have a character over here. Do Shift A and, and um, go over here into your armature. You will go to Rigify Meta Rigs and you will have a human rig. Literally, it has a human rig. Look at that. And then what I have to do is that you have to like go into edit mode of this, rearrange them into your character or something like this and then look at that it's done i actually have a video on that as well super 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 time saving and also they also have an animal rig so if i let's look at that shift a animal we have a bird cat horse shark wolf that's amazing and we also have basic human and a basic quad root that is amazing and the rig of fire is so cool and once you've done all of that you could also do a button, this rigify button, generate rig. It will generate a good rig that I can use. For example, we have this rig that I just generated for us. If you go into your pose mode and you can just examine it. But right now it's not parented to a mesh, that's why it's not working. But it's the most overpowered add-on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.